NX Mono repos are awesome and in today's video we will learn how we can use them to publish out multiple npm libraries. To show how we can publish multiple npm libraries from an NX Mono repo, I created a sample Mono repository called Release It. Let's use the NX step graph command to inspect the dependency graph of our Mono repository. We created an application that is named Release It, which then depends on a library named Bar and Foo, so this is kind of a showcase. Bar and Foo itself then depend on a library Bass. So now what we want to do, we want to publish out bar, foo and bass. To release those libraries, we could use a multi-version approach or a single version approach. In a multi-version approach, each of those libraries gets an independent version. Means if we change foo, only the version of foo gets bumped and bar and bass are not affected. However, libraries in a monorepo often belong together and therefore are versioned with a single version. So let's think about Angular for example. Angular has multiple packages, Angular Core, Angular HHP, and so on. So now imagine that you would go with a single version approach, then you would maybe install Angular Core 16 and HTTP 15, which is kind of weird. So therefore, whenever something gets released, Angular just bumps the version of all those packages. And that's the approach we are going to use today. We have the repository set up and push to GitHub. Furthermore, I already prepared some of the settings you have to make in GitHub. In order to later fully automate our release, which means committing back release artifacts to GitHub, as well as publishing the artifact to NPM, we have to create a bunch of environment variables. So inside our secrets and variables, we have to go to actions and we have to create a GitHub token and an NPM token. The GitHub token just needs the repository rights and the NPM token is just a normal NPM token that you can create on npmjs.com, just choose the CI token. Another thing that is very important in the setup is that you go to actions general and then give read and write permissions to your workflow permissions. Otherwise, the GitHub actions are not allowed to commit back release artifacts to our repository. So we want to commit back the version, the changelog and tags. Great, so let's now focus on setting up the release. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to install NX release as a dev dependency. Once NX release is installed, we can simply use npx nxg to invoke the NX release configure generator. The generator will take us through a wizard and it will ask us a bunch of questions. First, it will ask us if we want to install semantic release as well as the required plugins. Then we have the option to choose if we want to generate the release config, which of course we want. And furthermore, we can also say if we want to generate the GitHub workflows out of the box. The next question basically asks you if your library should be publicly available. So whenever you publish a scoped package, you have to add some published config, which makes it publicly available. NX release is capable of generating this published config for you. So just choose yes if you have a scope package and you can choose no if you don't have a scoped package. NX release will then go on, install the dependencies and generate a release config as well as the GitHub actions. Next, we can choose which of the projects we actually want to publish out to NPM. In our case, we want to publish all the repository. So you can type A, which selects all of them, and then just enter. That's the basic setup. So let's say we now make a change to foo. So we say improve foo. Let's then go ahead and push that to a new feature branch. We pushed our improvement to feature foo and we are going to create a pull request. NX release created a CI workflow job and that's the job that runs on pull requests. The CI workflow has the following steps. It first sets up the job, then installs the dependencies and lints the affected projects. In our case, the affected projects is only foo and the application because we changed foo and if we traverse the dependency graph, we can see that foo and the app are the only ones affected. Then we test the affected projects, we build the affected projects and our job completes. Since everything is green, we can go ahead and merge this PR. Once merged, it's actually time to go ahead and release our library. NX release created a release YAML and inside the release YAML, the trigger for the release workflow is on workflow dispatch, which means you manually have to trigger this workflow. If you want to go with an automated approach where it, this workflow always runs when you merge on main, you can just change the release trigger here in this file. But in our case, we can simply go to actions, then choose the release action and then select run workflow. 
The release job is pretty similar to the CI job, but it has some differences. We still install the depths, we lint and test our project. But the difference here is that we lint all of our projects, not just the affected one. Same for testing. Additionally, we have the release step. Inside this step, we build all of our projects and publish them out to NPM. And that's it, our workflow successfully completes. So let's see if we have version one of Barn Bass and Foo available on NPM. And there it is, release it Bass, published version one, release it Foo, published version one and release it Bar, all published a minute ago. Let's do one last check and let's make sure that Foo also has the correct dependency for Bass. So therefore we open the code and we check the package JSON and we can see that we have a correct dependency on Bass. So the npm part looks correct. But let's also explore the repository and the repository artifacts. So we can see that we have generated a tag version v1 with the correct release notes. Furthermore, we generated a top level changelog that contains all the commits involved in this release. Additionally, we committed back the correct version to the top level package JSON, as well as to the package JSON of our libraries. So we successfully created a fully automated release that uses conventional commits to analyze the next version, then generates the changelog, tags, and the correct version, then commits all those release artifacts back to our repository, updates the version in the package JSON, and publishes out the correct packages to NPM. So a fully automated release within an NX monorepo in just a couple of minutes. If you like this video, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and see you in the next video.